guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you're alright. Um, if you're new, my name's Jane. Hi, warm welcome. And if you're not new and you've been here before, thanks so much for coming back. Really appreciate it. So today, I've got a bit of a... where is it from? I've got some bits from the range and some bits from Poundland. So yeah, it's only a short video today. Um, hope you've all been doing alright. I've had quite a few busy weeks, so I've not been on quite as much. Um, I've still done a few meals of the week and I've just been filming um, a try on for Rotita as well this morning, so that'll be on soon. So anyway, I'll get stuck into the bags that I've got. I'll start with the range. There's not a lot in here. First thing we picked up was this. It was reduced at the till, so when we got to the till, Andrew said, oh, we'll have to get one of them. It's just a motion sensor light. Uh, it was reduced to one ninety nine from, I think it was six ninety nine, because we've got like um, a passageway down the back of the house, and it's quite dark. There was a light up there, but it's, I don't know if it's like broke or not working well enough, but you just put this on the wall, and it moves to, I think it just detects, um, I don't know how it works anyway, it just a motion sensor light, uh, detects people walking past. Re rotates 360 degrees perfect light solution for your home and it just takes batteries motion sensor up to three meters or you just stick it on with double-sided tape onto whatever you're going to stick it onto so that was the first little bit um we picked up a fabulosa don't really use Fabulosa, I always go for Zoflora or just most of the others. I think Zoflora is my favourite, but this smells gorgeous. It's the Fabulosa Toffee Apple Room and Fabric Freshener. Sometimes you get doggy smells, don't you, if you've got a dog. I know we do, and it's like, oh, God, it stinks. But that smells dead nice. It's like spicy apples. You know, you get some of the candles that's like caramelised apple or like spicy spiced apple smell it's lovely so i'm hoping it smells nice i bought the febreze last week the is it sugar plum furry it smells nice when you first spray it but a couple of seconds after you can't smell anything on the fabric so i think that was 149 or 199 we also picked up some sweets alex put these in chocolate peanuts they're quite a big pack i think there's 149 and some Munchies cookie dough, which was one twenty-five. I might eat them after. We also got this little miniature Christmas tree, which is glass. Let me just see if you can see that. Let me just glass bauble tree ornament. So it's only small. Let's see what it looks like. So in the top, oops, no, I've got a little packet with baubles in. It is only miniature. Well, that's fine, it was only on, but I fell on my uh, working top. So that is lovely glass little tree. Gorgeous that, isn't it? With the glittery silver top. So it's nice for any like, um, like your, what do you call them? Work, work, not a work top. Where you've got like nice furniture in your living room. Then we get a selection of nice little baubles. We've got silver. They're all silver and pink in this um, thingy bob. So I don't know if you put strings on or just hang them on the uh, little tree. Oh yeah, you can just hang the little hook. Oh, it looks quite cute actually. I like it. And my theme this time is silver and pink. So there we go. There's the tree with some little baubles on. Just looks nice on top of your um, cupboard tops. Cupboard tops, working tops, they're not working tops because that reminds me of a kitchen. What am I thinking of? Like a console table or something, you know what I mean. But I do like the fact that it's glass. So that is that. That was, where has it gone? Where's the box? I think it was 4 99 4 99 might be 7 99 because I can't find my receipts. Oh God, I don't know. All the expenses. I'll just put that. Oh, I left the barbell on. Got 
got some gorgeous stuff on the range, haven't we? You could spend a fortune. I'm trying to not go mad over Christmas because I don't need loads of stuff. I bought lots of things last year. Some of them I did display last year, but some of them I, I kept for this this Christmas because I just bought me a tree. Yay. I can't wait to put it up, but I'm a 1st of December kind of girl. I've got to wait till the 1st. Oh, I can't get that back in there now. Anyway, that's that. I also bought some more little miniature baubles from my big tree. These are all shades of pink and silver. And they were... Oh, I've got some... I don't know if it was 3 now. I'm going to say 3 99 I could be a bit wrong. So that's the colours. Really pretty colours. Pink, silvers. And some glittery ones. And you get... How many in there? Forty nine baubles. So there's quite a lot on there. I also bought a little mouse, fluffy mouse, just because I thought it was really cute. And it was either one ninety nine or one seventy nine. But I love these little woodland creatures on the tree. Really cute. I also bought some little snowballs, the iridescent ones for a crafty project I'm thinking of doing. If I ever get enough time, because I'm always doing something else. So yeah, iridescent pom-poms by Crayola. They was $1.99, I think. Next up, we're still in the range. I bought this. I bought my dad um, a cheese board for Christmas, because he loves cheese. So in this, we've got two chutneys and a box of crackers. So we've got caramelised onion chutney and cheese board chutney. It's a cheese board chutney and a box of oven baked crackers that was £3.49 which is quite good that's before the end of June 24 so they're not going to go off so I thought they was quite nice the jars are not miniatures either they've got 190 grams so they're not small jars and I also bought this is for my dad because I never know what to buy them I give them money they don't need it I give them clothes, they don't wear them, save them for best. So sticking with the cheese theme, I bought this, which is a slate with a glass dome. And it is the slate cheese dome. It's also got a little packet of crackers and one miniature chutney. And it's got the knives in as well. So that is another, that's for my dad that. I do like the dome because I think, and one thing I did buy, this was weeks ago now bought this because I was going to make my own little cheese hamper for him, which I'm still going to do. So I bought this in B&M, um, like a wooden cheese chopping board thing. So I know my mum won't put this slate thing on a worktop. She's just had a new kitchen. Andrew, <laughs> if you can hear Andrew, that's in there. So I'm going to put the slate on top of the board because then she won't mind putting it on a working top because it won't scratch. She's very particular, is my mum. So yeah, the cheese dome was 14 99 from the range and this was three pound and b&m's weeks ago so i don't know if they've got that in so that's my dad i'm gonna go and look somebody showed a lovely hamper gift hamper on my channel the other day and i can't think who it was but it was like a luxury basket with a red velvet lining if you know give me a shout because i'm gonna put all these in like a hamper with other little bits of goodies so that is what i got in the range Bought lots in the range, but they all quite good. Moving on, I've just realised my camera's the wrong way round. Just one second, I turn it ring. I got in Poundland was a noodle pan brush because mine somebody's used it outside and now it's disgusting. So I got this one which is Kim and Aggie and it's pink, it was 149. Yeah, it's got, what's her name there? Queen of Clean, Kim and Aggie on the cover. So that's that. I've got some slow cooker liners because Andrew does the dishes in our house and he goes mad when he has to clean the slow cooker and we've not put one of these inside it. It just saves you a lot of scrubbing of the slow cooker. So I think there was a pound or something like that. I've got Andrew some brandy snacks for our Christmas box. He loves these. And he usually fills some with whipped cream or, you know, 
I don't like them, so that's there. I got some parcel tape, which was two pound. I was sending parcels off and stuff like that. And there's 30 meters of craft packaging tape, so two pound. I bought more than this from Pound Man. There's stuff missing. I got some mini Yule logs, and they was two pound. I didn't realize till I got home, and I thought I wouldn't have bought them if I don't know. But Alex loves anything chocolatey, doesn't like anything with like vanilla cream in it's got to be all chocolate cream chocolate so we got them i got some hoggies which was 75p baby wipes because my granddaughter comes round on a saturday and we just need wipes got a little net of santas chocolate santas have they got a filling oh yeah cream milk filling so they was a pound they can go in a christmas Eve box. I'm making her a Christmas Eve box and I'm dead excited because I've just bought lots of goodies to go inside it. Hopefully she likes it. I got some artificial confetti snow. These was a pound each. I'm going to do some crafty things, like I said, when I get around to it. So I got two of them. They was a pound. 80 grams. I also bought another pack of glue sticks for when I get a chance to do some of my junk journaling. I want to do that because I love doing anything like that and I think they was a pound for five glue sticks because you go quite through a lot of this you know when you're doing that kind of thing. I also bought a couple of these, how cute are these? Little snowmen, I'm going to pop them somewhere. So I got two of these ones, they didn't have many of these left in my pound land and I think they were a pound you know. They had other ones of these miniature figures but I got two little snowmen. Oh, here's a receipt. Hold on. Miniature resin character. Yeah, there was a pound each. So that's that. I've got another bag. Hang on. So I got Alex this bath fizzer in the rocket shape. He still loves bath fizzers, you know. Blueberry fizzes in purple, blue, and yellow. That was a pound. So that will be a little stocking filler for him. I got some. This Aussie Miracle Moist Shampoo, and I love the smell of these. I'm sticking to my Hyaluronic Acid from LV. But on the odd chance that I haven't got some, I'll use this. But that smells gorgeous. Absolutely love that. And it is really nice on your hair as well. Australian Macadamia Nut Oil for dry, brittle hair. So that's... I'm not sure how much that was. I think it was £2.49. I also picked up... A winter angel fabulosa um i don't usually buy fabulosa like i was on about before but this one smells a bit like snow angel from lush if you go in lush snow angels are always out at christmas and it is gorgeous i love a little trip to lush keep saying to my daughter you'll have to book a saturday off then we can go to liverpool to go to lush it's like four four stories high and it's amazing you could spend hours in there Next up, I bought this, which is a Glow Up Shimmer Body Mist. Uh, light shimmer to give a winter glow. And it's winter floral. Can't look at this. Oh, it's not got a mist. It's more of a... Hmm. Does it smell of anything? No, that smells weird. Of course, it's not a fine mist. It's like a... Tsh, more of a spray than a mist. It's sticky. And it doesn't smell of, it's not sticky now, but it doesn't smell of anything at all. No, I'm not impressed with that. I won't buy that again. I've got another, this one is a conditioner, Creighton's Volume Pro. If I see a nice shampoo or a conditioner, I tend to just buy them because we go through a lot. And, you know, that smells nice. But like I said, I've started using the hyaluronic acid from LV and I've just run out of the conditioner, so I'll stock up again. I hope it's still half price in boots because it was. So that's I'm not sure how much that was. Sticking on the hair theme, I got this for Alex because he's got really dry scalp. And this is by Umberto Gianni and it's a scalp scrub. Exfoliating anti-dandruff treatment. 97% natural clears and soothes dry flaky scalp 
We're going to give him that to have a go at. Massage gently into the scalp. Leave for five to ten minutes for the pineapple enzymes to work their magic. Ooh, what do you smell? Yeah, it smells like pineapple. Might be some for you in that one. Oh, smells nice. That was two forty nine. I also got a little bath fizzer, which is the relaxing, calming lavender one. I love lavender spells, especially at night time when you're starting to re you know, relax and slow down a little bit. I think that was still a pound. I also picked up this Head Soothe, apply directly to the forehead, uh, specially designed to apply, you know, it's for headaches anyway. I've never used it, but... I'm going to try that because I'm getting a lot of headaches, you know. Oh well. And it's a little, um, and then you just like rub on like a roller deodorant. It doesn't smell of anything. <laughs> I suppose it doesn't need to smell of anything, does it? But yeah, that's supposed to soothe your headaches. So what's in that to make it stop you having a headache? Who knows? Not for use under 16. So that was that. I also picked up another hot chocolate because we've run out. Kids keep having hot chocolates now, it's getting a bit colder. So I got another one. That was a pound. I got another primer. This is Prime Time Hydrating Primer infused with vitamin E and glycerine. Has it got a shade on it? I don't know. I think they're all the same. Oh, it feels nice. And it's good, a good kind of matte. I don't know if it's like, you can't see that, can you? But that is it when you put it on the primer. It rubs in really nice. I'm quite pleased with that. That was £3.49. So I will give that a try next time I do my makeup. Proven to make skin look fresh. With a subtle glow to help make up glide on smoothly. I'm impressed with that, you know. Mm, it smells a bit not nice, but got two body butters. The body shop. I have never seen miniatures before. Strawberry and a coconut. I'm a big body shop fan. I used to sell body shop. Um, I went to one of the annual Christmas events. Oh my god, it was an eye opener. It was like, um, what should I call it? It was getting all for the male strippers because they had like loincloths on and it was jungle themed. It was really good. I love body shop. That smells really nice. It does smell nice, but I think strawberries were perfect. They was £2 each. Nice little stocking fillers then if you've got um, anyone that... But I've never seen, you can't buy them in the shop that size, can you? Unless they're in a gift set, I don't think. Also picked up one of my boys, a Lynx. It's not Christmas without a Lynx set, is it? We've got a deodorant and a pair of socks in this one. I think it's three forty nine, and it's the Epic Fresh one. So that's that. Let's get another one of them. Just can't get one of them on without the other. And then I picked up this chocolate uh, bulldog. Again for one of the boys, but I should have just got two at the time. You know, then they've both got the same. That was, I think that was three pound. But it's got like a nice gold looking sheen on the front of it. And that's it. That's everything I got in Poundland. So I hope you've enjoyed. Put <laughs> fluff. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give me a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think, what you like. Um, and if you've not subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you could join our little community and give us a big subscribe below. Press the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post a video. But for now guys, take care. Bye bye.